Welcome to another one of my how-to videos. Here it is the Canon uh, drum. Fits many different models. I had a 3225 image runner. It uh, starts off by removing this little plastic tab right there from down below and then there's a screw there that you can use to disconnect the front plate. Then remove, lower that tray and there's another screw there. I have already removed those screws so I'm just showing you where they are. And that front plate swings out from the left. And also make sure that the side door on the far right is open. That's the area where a lot of paper jams occur. Make sure that is open. That wasn't really shown in the video. Okay, remove the waste toner cartridge. And then there is one screw on my model that um, is necessary to pull that out. Okay, that little blue flap needs to be released so that you can pull that out without damaging anything. Okay, here I have the new drum. I'm just getting that ready. I don't need it right now. I'm just going to put it off to the side. I'm also going to be replacing the uh, little rubber scraper that is used as well. Okay, so find the metal faceplate, and there are two screws to remove the waste toner um, doohickey, we'll call that. Comes out, does make a bit of a mess, um, probably would be smart to put paper down, although toner does clean up pretty easily. And then there's two more screws that actually hold the faceplate on remove those and you are ready to pull that that metal plate off and that is what holds the drum in so go ahead and just remove the dr old drum and you could throw that away now if you're going to replace that scraper that came with it you're going to pop out that roller and there are two screws holding the scraper in just to mention, I was given a quote of $500 to do this job from a local copier company. They would have charged $150 for the service call. That's just to come out to the place. And then $350 to replace the entire thing. Not just that green drum, but they would replace the whole cartridge. They don't replace just the drum. Apparently they think it takes too long to do so. I don't think it does. It, the whole job took me about 10 minutes and saved a ton of money. I was able to get just the drum for $42 on eBay. So I did the whole job for $42 instead of $500. Okay, so now I'm going in triple speed. Really, it's just reverse process from here. Um, just do the opposite of what you did before. The one thing on this is you know, make sure that the gears are on the left. They match up with the other um, Helix gears. Put that face plate in there. It's got to be just snug. Make sure it all, everything lines up. And then put the two screws back in for the face plate. And then I'm just kind of showing you where it's located. There's really no way to mess this up that I'm aware of. Even that, if you put it in there the wrong way, it becomes very apparent which way is the correct way. So that's it. That's as easy as it gets, right? Uh, pretty much anyone could do that with a screwdriver. Put it back in there. Fiddle with it to get it, make sure it gets in there just right. Um, put that one screw back in. And your waste toner. Oh, don't forget that part. That needs to be back in place, otherwise it won't work. The waste toner part, you could decide whether you want to put screws back in or not. Um, I don't even bother because, you know, it seems like I'm going into there, that area, often enough it's not even worth putting the screws back on. So I'm printing a test copy, and for a brief second, you can see that it did print. Yeah, there it is, brief second. Thank